Hi guys and welcome to TechFurb. So, today, um, obviously first video, so welcome to the channel. Um, today, basically, I have a job that I really need to do. Um, so, to kind of give some context, basically, I needed a, needed a solution. Um, so I went out to TVG and forked out the extra ten dollars a month to get a business connection. Um, now what that means is a nice, sweet, juicy static IP. Um, and to take full advantage of that static IP, I basically decided, okay, I want to build a machine um, that can host a web server, uh, run what's called PFSense. Um, it's a networking tool. Uh, there's a very good tutorial video on it, which I'll link in the description. So, basically, to solve my problem, um, what I'm going to attempt to do, and I've not tested this, so we're going to kind of figure this out on our journey together. Um, I'm going to split this up into multiple videos because you just cannot contain this into one video. It's just a big topic. It's a, bit, a lot of content. So, this video, what we're going to do is we're going to take the guts of this and put it into this. Now, um, context, uh, they're both Optiplex 755s. Um, basically, these machines are a bit old now. They're Core 2s. Uh, they run a 3-series chipset from Intel, so Q35, I think it was. Basically, this machine can run almost any Core 2 Duo processor or Core 2 Quad. Um, and I had a bit of a problem, so I would just use the big machine, obviously. Um, reason being expansion slots, you know, I, want to, I need to put in multiple NICs um, and NICs, for those of you who don't know, um, is network interface cards, so like Ethernet or Wi-Fi um, I need multiple expansion cards um, Since it is, you know, going to be a server um, So what I have to do, because the main board is dead in this machine, I need to take it out of this one Now the reason why I haven't just gone and just chucked in, say, a custom 775 board because that would be easier and the much better option because you've got overclocking and uh, more expanded cards you can you can put what you want in it uh, the reason why I have to put this guy into this guy is basically because it is a proprietary board um, and I did have a look at this um, basically the main board in the little what's called SFF small form factor um, does actually match up to the pin uh, to the Mounting, mounting points of this case. So in theory, I should be able to take the motherboard and you know, a couple of other components and drag across into the system and ta-da, web server. So let's get into it. Okay guys, welcome back. So, just stripped out the, um, uh, the mini tower. Uh, we've also stripped out for the most part a little small form factor. Quite easy to take apart these things. Took me, to, uh, I think, check the video, 12 minutes. Um, <laughs> much quicker than custom builds. Uh, that's that's one, one advantage of OEM. Um, so basically, what I'm going to show you here is... I don't know how well you can see this from the camera, but... If you have a look down at the mounting brackets along there, they match up, the RAM matches up, up here there's this special connector up here will match up to these. Um, just about every connector on the board will actually perfectly marry up to this machine here. Um, and the only real difference is the two extensions, expansion slots down the bottom, but otherwise this is exactly the same PCB that's just been extended slightly for the mini tower. So, there you go guys, um, top tip, uh, in theory, these should be interchangeable, so let's figure out uh, how to get the small form factor into the bigger PC, so let's get to it.
guys, so there we have it. Um, that's a main board change. Uh, all that's left is to turn it on and hope for the best. Hi guys, welcome. So we've finished uh, the build. Um, overall, in terms of the process, I'm pretty happy. Uh, the boards were just a straight swap. Even even the um, the mounting brackets for the heat sinks, even the heat sink design is two separate designs. Um, the actual mounting brackets are, are identical and mounting points, so it was all just bolt on. Um, no hackery, no sort of making it work. I just unscrewed one, screwed the new one in, it works, I'm impressed. Um, everything connected up, the fans connected up, IO, the speakers. So all in all guys, I'm pretty happy. Um, I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Um, I hope you enjoy this. Um, if you like this content, that's great, give it a like. If you didn't like the video, thought I could do things better, that's fine. Um, just like it, it's, it's not the end of the world. Um, throw comments in the thread, I really want to know people's thoughts on this, whether this is good content, whether people like this, um, where I can improve, you know, this is this is my first crack, so, um, so all in all guys, we're going we're to do a part 2 with this one, um, the part 2 is going to be installing ESXi, um, that will hopefully be coming out in a couple of weeks time, um, and hopefully it goes all to plan, if it doesn't, that's fine, all good fun, I'm learning, you're learning, that's great, so, Thanks for tuning in guys, I'll see you next time.